So welcome to another Essential SQL Minute. In this segment, we're going to learn how to use the in clause with an expression list. So we're going to use the inner operator to compare a column to a list of values. The example here is we have the in clause being used to compare the ISO Alpha 3 code to a list of one of three values. This is equivalent to comparing the ISO 3 code to those same values but using the equal sign in conjunction with an OR. So let's go see how this is done using the query analyzer. So I brought in a query into the query analyzer. Here you can see I have a where clause with the ISO alpha code, the same line, and let's when I run it, bring this up here. You can see it brings back three countries where the ISO 3 code equals JAM, JPN, or JOR. Now I could also use the not with N, and what it will do is bring back every country whose ISO 3 code is not JAM, JOR, or JPN. So basically anything that's not in this list. What I can do is just put a not here. When I run this, I get many more countries back. I can also use the in clause with integers. So for instance, instead of using the ISO alpha code, maybe I use the ISO numeric code, like we had in some other examples in previous lessons. So you can see here I'm using the numeric code. It's bringing back rows. One thing I want to point out is that if your list has no values in it, you can get some weird results. So let me show you a list here where we have null in. And I run it. So here we have null. And I get three rows back. Seems expected because I have the three that match, which makes sense. But if I put a not here, and I run this, you think I might I would be getting everything back that's not these three rows, like in the past, those it was like maybe a hundred or so rows. But when I execute this, I don't get any rows back. Seems strange, doesn't it? And it's because none of the rows that I have in my original table have null in the ISO alpha three code. So let me take the null out and now run this. And as you see, I get all the rows back. So here's a case where having the out the null value in the list can cause some confusion. And I think you need to be aware that that can cause an issue. So I hope you enjoyed this SQL Minute. And you can use in to help you um, advance your techniques of using uh, the SWEX statement.